Oh, given the worrying uh, connection between angering uh, Vladimir Putin and bad things happening, um, aren't you concerned? Me? Yeah. About myself? Yeah. You're a pain in the ass. I am concerned generally. Generally. I, I want to tell you my family are much more concerned than me. Because if you are concerned every minute, the best way is to be killed. Why can't you just go along like everybody else? Why do you have to be, you know, why, I'm, why make life difficult for yourself? Uh, well, uh, against overwhelming this, is, odds? this is a good question. First, I'm a well-known guy. And this is a safety. Because if something happened with me, it will be a scandal not only in Moscow city, but throughout the world. And Anthony Bourdain joins me now. I mean, he thought in some ways that his notoriety would protect him. And uh, he was wrong. Uh, he didn't seem concerned uh, when I had dinner with him. I really think he, he enjoyed being who he was. Mm -hmm. Um, he was fully aware of the danger of the situation in general, and I think uh, he, he, he was not surprised by the corruption and the extent of the corruption uh, going on around him. But I, I, you heard what he said. I think he believed that his stature, uh, his position, uh, his international profile would protect him. I, I talked to Gary Kasparov a couple of days ago, and he described Mr. Rimmer as a larger-than-life character. Uh, handsome. Um, cocky, sure of himself, uh, s s incredibly smart guy, uh, funny, uh, a dangerous man to, uh, to you know, p people who uh, he's criticizing. Do you have any doubt that Vladimir Putin was behind this, either directly or well, let's put people it this around way. him? Um, Nemtsov uh, maintains that it is a criminal culture, essentially, he's, as he says uh, elsewhere in the interview. Um, you know, the, the states, Canada, even uh, Scandinavia, have, have a problems with corruption. But here he says corruption is the culture. It is the, it is the way business is done. It is the system. Um, he insists that it is essentially a criminal enterprise. Now, any criminal enterprise I know of, um, if you worked for a New York crime family and you shot, some, you shot somebody and left them on the front lawn of the boss um, without his okay, uh, you would be in bad odor. Bad things would probably happen to you. So I, I think the person who did this wants everyone to know who done it. I don't think there's any mystery. I put it to Nemtsov at one point. I said, there's no mystery, do you think? Uh, I brought up the Litvinenko case. Right. You know, you... Somebody poisoned this opponent, a of, of loud uh, critic of, of Putin, in central London with radioactive polonium. They could have shot him, they could have stabbed him, they could have pushed him into a river. No, in central London at a sushi bar, an extremely rare, extremely expensive radioactive uh, substance was introduced uh, into this man. Just, just as with Nemtsov, he could have been killed in a dark alley somewhere near his house. Right. He was shot within sight of the Kremlin, essentially. I, I, I think. The, 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 the state of mind is such that whoever did this uh, wants everyone to know, assumes everyone uh, uh, knows, and is pretty sure that no one will do anything about it. And I also think they're right.